Good evening, everyone. Just, there we go, just letting everything get kicked in. Welcome, everyone. It is Friday, the, goodness, 29th of May, and it is 8.30. It is Compline Prayer with the Trinity Episcopal Church. My name is Chris Paul. If you are not familiar with Compline and you have a Book of Common Prayer, it can be found on page 127. Or if you don't own a Book of Common Prayer, you can find Compline by going to bcponline.org and in the table of contents, select the Daily Office. And within the Daily Office, Compline is the final prayer service. If you do not wish to do either, this is a short prayer service and you are welcome to just be still and quiet and just catch your breath and just have a few minutes of quiet reflection with us and that's absolutely fine. Let us go ahead and start with a breath and we'll begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm for this evening can be found on page 129. It will be Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness, incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our word for this evening can be found at the bottom of page 131 from Matthew. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Turning to the middle of page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy saying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Turning to the middle of page 134. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil 
Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, I welcome your prayers of intercession. You are welcome to say them aloud. Uh, you are welcome to type them into the chat box or just keep them close to your heart. As always, we are, always, we are continuing our prayers for all those who are affected by COVID-19, those who are ill, those who are separated from family and struggling with social isolation, those who are having economic difficulties, and those who are going through anxiety as we begin to open back up. But today we'd also like to add to our prayers some prayers for those who are suffering with racism, the latest incidents just being another example of it existing in our country and its prevalence amongst us all. And we pray for all those who live in fear of racism. We pray for all those who have suffered at the hands of it, of hate and of anger. We pray for all those who are angry and unsure of what to do. We pray for all those who are getting caught up in the middle of that. We pray for all those who want to do more and don't know what to do, that they can find peaceful and useful ways to improve the situation. We pray for us all to heal all that is dividing us and remind us of the prayers that we just read, that we do not forget, that we never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to, pre to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has promised to hear the petitions of those who ask in thy son's name, we beseech thee mercifully to incline thine ear to us who have now made our prayers and supplications unto you and grant that those things which we have faithfully asked according to your will may effectually be obtained to the relief of our necessity and to the setting forth of your glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. There's one more prayer I'd like to offer. Look with pity, O Heavenly Father, upon the people of this land who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Have mercy upon us. Help us to eliminate our cruelty to these, our neighbors. Strengthen those who spend their lives establishing equal protection of the law and equal opportunities for all, and grant that every one of us may enjoy a fair portion of the riches of this land. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Returning to the bottom of page 134, let us say together. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. 
Amen. As always, thank you so much for joining us this evening and all week. We will be back on Monday, Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. Mother Anne, Deacon Frank will be doing morning prayers and reflections and Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m. Brother Les and I will be doing the Order of Compline. If you're available, we'd love to have you join us at 10 a.m. on Sunday where we will be doing a Zoom Sunday service, the link for which can be found on the Trinity Episcopal Facebook page. It will also be posted to our Facebook page and all of our services are on our YouTube channel. I hope you all have a peaceful and kind and loving weekend and think compassionately upon our people and that we can all grow and heal and be unified as one people, not divided. Stay safe, stay healthy, be at peace. God loves you. Good night.